I've been ordered to brief the director of ISEX about Sergeant Halloran's death in 48 hours, and I intend to destroy those K-22 killers around Nong Ban well before then. With all due respect, it's obvious that the K-22 have penetrated your program. They were waiting for us when we went to look for Jackson. They were waiting for us this morning. Lieutenant, I had a year of training at Fort Hollibur to do just what I am doing now. If you don't happen to agree with it, keep it to yourself like a responsible officer. Is it responsible, sir, to take men out who might die because the VC have penetrated your program? The lieutenant may have a point. I-6 is a very poorly designed program. It was set up too quickly. One leak to K-22 could mean disaster for everyone, as you recall from your own first tour. I say, interrogate the villager in the hospital. Make an example of him for all of Nong Bang. No, no, I agree with my sergeant. That kid was with us all the way. There's no reason to put pressure on him. Then burn Nong Bang. Make the villagers talk. That might do the job. You go around burning down villages, and you may as well just hand the countryside over to the VC. The villagers aren't trying to protect the enemy. They're scared. Now, maybe if we just offered them some help, instead of trying to hurt them, well, maybe, just maybe, they'd tell us the truth. I know that's policy, Lieutenant, and as a first step, I have to try it, but it's not gonna do one thing more than prove you wrong. And, Lieutenant, when it doesn't work, we'll do it the hard way, starting with your sergeant's kid. And you better be on the team. We're all on the team, sir. Hey, kid. Hey, John Wayne. We make it. Yeah, we made it. The engine just grazed you. Here, try to hang on to it this time. We all figure we owe you one, you know? We all want you to get out of this hospital in one piece, so uh, if people start coming around here asking you questions about the VC and Nong Ban, you tell them everything you know, you understand me? I know living village, living jungle. Wait, you don't have family in the village? Sergeant Jackson, my family. He come get me. We'll tell him just as soon as we find him. I saw you. We need more John Wayne fighting the VC engine. Don't get out of there now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Sorry. Some help counting that homeboy. You figure that Putnam's low enough to take a bribe to get Roselli out of here? Man, Vietnam's a hard dollar, brother. Why you want to spend your money on Roselli? Taylor, the guy's a father. It'd be nice if he'd get home, take care of his kid himself. Think about my old man. I don't know if we could have made it without him. Huh. When I was growing up, it was just me and my grandmother. And half the time she was working, I had to take care of myself. Well, thanks a lot, Taylor. I'll do it on my own. All right, hold on, man. Hold on, look. If you don't be careful and watch out, Jai do like putting them just gonna take your money and laugh at you. I think we can do better than that. What are you saying? You want to help Roselli? No, no. I'm saying I want to help you. The kid thinks Jackson's still alive. The kid's got a lot of crazy ideas, Zeke. Yeah, well, LT, he lost his family in the worst possible way in Napalm. In fact, he almost got killed himself. I think I'd have a few crazy ideas myself if I went through that. Well, the worst is yet to come. In a couple hours, we're going back to Nan Ban. We're gonna ask the villagers real nicely whether they know anything about the K-22. Kerry doesn't hear what he wants to hear. He's gonna put this kid through the ringer. Why is he pushing so hard? Well, I got it straight from Nguyen. On Kerry's first tour, he was out with an A-team helping some villagers build a fort. One of the villagers turned out to be a VC informant, and Kerry lost his whole company. The informant was a 13-year-old girl. Come on, LT. You and I both know this kid is not VC. He's got no family. He's raised on his own. All right. I'll do my best to help convince Carrie. You do your best not to get too attached to that kid. 